uh, Chairman, Council Members. Uh, I'm speaking today on behalf of the Todo Por El Pueblo Collective based here in Oxnard. We're a politically independent, uh, all-volunteer organization devoted to the working class and undocumented communities who comprise a huge portion of the people here in the city. And today we'd like to address the uh, issue of the DUI driver's license checkpoints. Based on what we've observed, it's clear that the checkpoints are not about enforcing laws against DUIs, DUIs being something that we absolutely do not condone. But what is clear is that the checkpoints are a tool meant to generate profit from the confiscation, and some would say theft, of vehicles from migrante communities. Statewide, on a yearly basis, more than $40 million of profit come from towing and impound fees. And this is in California alone, again. Typically, barely any drunks are apprehended, but on average, nearly a dozen cars are confiscated per checkpoint. We've witnessed firsthand scenes of whole families being forced to haul their belongings home across town from the checkpoints. The next day, these families learn that their cars are being impounded for a minimum of 30 days and that they can't retrieve them without paying fees ranging anywhere from $1,500 to $4,000. Unable to pay this ransom, many just abandon their cars. Warrants and arrests related to unpaid tickets often lead to incarceration. And for undocumented workers, this process can lead to deportation under existing poly migra partnerships between local police and sheriff's departments and the Department of Homeland Security, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Our attitude is that hardworking families have absolutely no reason to put up with being bullied or harassed in their own neighborhoods for other people's gain, and that we have to demand that changes be made to stop this shameful process from continuing. We stand by these words. Knowing that the checkpoints do far more harm than good, we practice our legal right to free speech and began to go out near these checkpoints in order to warn motorists with signs, with lights, through whatever means available, legally, so that they could avoid them. The response from the community has been, understandably, uh, overwhelmingly positive. And we're here today to announce that last Sunday, October 9th, after the statewide organizing efforts against these abuses, the governor signed into law Assembly Bill 353. This bill curbs many of the abuses which take place at the checkpoints and wasn't simply a gift from Sacramento. It, it just wouldn't have been possible if not for the pressure generated by organizations across the state, such as our own. AB 353 goes into effect in January, but until then, we'll continue wor warning people of the checkpoints so that they can avoid the abuses which take place there. After it comes into effect, we plan to monitor the checkpoints to ensure compliance. We'll also begin work locally to ensure that the policy is broadened to include general traffic stops where the majority of impounds, nearly 90%, take place. We know that the root of this evil is the denial of documents for working people here in this, uh, here in this country. And Specifically, Pete Wilson's 1993 law, which stripped undocumented workers of their ability to legally access driver's licenses. And we'll continue to demand that this access be restored, along with our colleagues and comrades across the state. For more information, please visit www.todoporealpueblo.org or call 805-328-4763. Thank you.